Hey, welcome back. I'm Jamie Lewis, and today we're checking out this Les Paul Jr. tribute bass from Gibson. Crystal clear, tonight, pick some money on the revenge. And if you've watched any of my videos, you know that there's only one thing that I'm interested in, and that is, well, what does it sound like? When she comes around my mind. So let's go ahead and get started by playing some progressive rock. Something that maybe you don't normally think of when you play a Gibson bass. I'm going to roll the tone knob all the way up and I'm gonna attack the strings a bit harder to get a sound very similar to what you would get with a pick. And then at the verse of this song, I'm gonna tame my dynamics a little bit to kind of soften the tone a little. Let's see what that sounds like. Okay, now let's bring in the track and let's see what this bass completely unprocessed sounds like when blended in with the rest of the band. Now before we move on, I just wanna try one thing. I'm gonna process the signal with some pretty sharp compression, and I'm gonna to try to EQ that top end a little bit just to see if we can get it to slice through the mix. All right, let's try another sound that you probably wouldn't associate with Gibson basses. That is funk jazz fusion. So let's see what happens when I try to groove in seven. All right, now let's listen to the completely unprocessed signal of this bass against the rest of the track, which by the way, is from a lesson at thebassist.net where you'll find this song fully transcribed with a bassless play along file and also over 450 other bass lessons with yours truly. Right. <laughs> All right, let's hit this thing with just a little bit of EQ and compression to get it to sit just right in the mix, but without losing that quirky Gibson sound that it has. Y'all can tell me in the comments if you think I made it better or worse. <laughs> All right, 
Beatles fan, as I'm sure many of you are. So let's try to channel our inner Paul McCartney and see if this bass can do that sound any justice. I'm going to roll the tone knob off pretty considerably, and I'm going to play mostly in the middle register of this bass to try to play something that this iconic bassist would probably play if he was holding this instrument. let's bring in the track to see what this bass sounds like completely unprocessed when blended in with the rest of the band on a song called Holding Out for the Sun by my friend Barry Keenan. And last, I'm just going to hit this signal with some compression, EQ, and tape saturation to really try and get it to sound like the most iconic bass player of all time. That's what the Gibson Les Paul Jr. tribute bass sounds like. Again, I just want to say thank you to Zounds for loaning this to me. And if you want to get one for yourself, just click on those links in the description. Also, make sure you check out all of the awesome premium content on my Patreon, like behind the scenes videos, I can walk from this end to this end, and one, two, three, live concert footage. <laughs> music, merch discounts, and much more. Also, make sure you check out my deep dive videos on Patreon, where I share my professional opinion about this and all of the gear that I review here on this channel. So thank you again for watching, stay well, and we'll see you next time.